You're welcome, Your Majesty. Thank you. So, how is the prince? He's fine. I humble myself before the Queen Mother. You shall live long. <laughs> it's okay. Aren't you beautiful? <laughs> the beautiful wife I found for my son. I bless the day I set my eyes on you. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Thank you, Your Majesty. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> what are you doing? Feeling shy? A beggy. <laughs> the queen is here. So, tell her all that you've been telling me. Mother, please don't start. Your Majesty, what would you like to eat? I want to cook for you. Ah, no, no, no. Don't bother yourself. I just came to see you one more time and to ask um, when you will be chance to visit the palace. <laughs> Anytime. Anytime, Your Majesty, she will come and see you. Uh, I know she has always wished to see the prince. I trust my daughter. She will come anytime you approve. Mother, please. Your Majesty, who would you like to drink? Uh, what am I even asking? I know what to get for the Queen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lele, <laughs> look at you. <laughs> beautiful girl. An excellent choice I made for my son. And I know my son will be so happy to behold this beautiful damsel I chose for him. You can say that again. <laughs> beautiful girl. By the time I finish with you today, you will regret why you did not die. When people like you were tired. Come on, let's see my hand. Raise your hand. <laughs> <laughs> to warn you to stay away from what I do in my compound. Do you want me to fall out with you fully before you let you mind your business? Hey, grab the man! Which? Have you seen what you have cost? Have you seen it? She has no body in this world, but she has God. And that God is never asleep. He is not asleep. When you finish barking like a dog, you just get down from that place you are and enter your house as Lebakute. You will never mind your business. Behind your man! Running will not save you. Running will not save you. Just come back and carry this crazy and go and sell for me. Go and sell this crazy! If you refuse to sell this crazy, I will make you drink all of them when you come back. Try me. Useless girl. Evil child. I don't know why this girl will not just die. Let me have some peace in my home. Why will she die? I'm waiting for you. Impressive. Is she from this land? Of course she's from here. Her name is Linda Ohamadike. The daughter of Sir Samuel Ohamadike, the state chairman of the ruling party. 
the same girl. Yeah, she looks like someone who has seen the better part of life. Oh, not only has she seen the better part of life, she's down to earth. Could you believe she offered to cook food for me? Mm. And something tells me that she will make a wonderful wife to my son. <laughs> wife? Yes. Is this what you've been planning, mother? Is this the reason I've been scrolling through the pictures of a beautiful woman? Why are you frowning? Don't you trust my judgment? Or do you see things that uh, you're too young to have a wife? That is not the point. Then what is the point? Mother. All my life. I have pandered to the demands of you and my father. First, I wanted to study music and you. Ah, oh, there he goes again. Must you always remind me of this? Don't you understand that you are a prince that will one day be crowned king? How can a king become a musician? Who will you be singing for and who they will sing for you? Well, do not cut me from trying to make a point. You and father forced me into studying law. Today, I'm a lawyer, even though I have no need for that knowledge. But as regards whom to make my life partner, I beg you and Father to stay out of it. Nabife, wait. Nabife, don't you trust my judgment? Nabife, I am your mother and I want the best for you. Linda Ohamadike is a girl that was trained by her mother. She is a true definition of the word decency. If you make her your wife, that girl will worship you for the rest of her life. I beg you, son, give me this last chance to deliver this God to you. Please. <coughs> this is your own. I didn't come here for cola. I came to inquire on something that bothers of my son. Even Jesus Christ said he has not come to abolish the laws, but rather he has come to strengthen them. But no more will talk about you. Most of you are becoming more Christians than the Jews themselves. And get it can go. Christianity is good. Tradition is equally good. And that is why I'm here. Even as a Christian mother, I still respect your office as the chief priest. That's why I always come to consult you on critical matters. Now tell me, is my son going to marry this beautiful damsel I found for him? The process leading to the wife that the prince will marry shall be very complex and complicated. But one thing is very clear. That the prince is going to marry a very beautiful woman. But if you ask me who it's going to be, I will not be able to answer. The process shall be complex and complicated. But he will marry a beautiful girl. That girl must be Linda. Your mother already told me about Linda Hamadike. And I trust her judgment completely. My queen is a noble woman. The best wife any man could ever think of having. So, do not condemn her choice without seeing her first. See her first. Father, what happens if I get to see her and I do not like her enough as a wife? So long as she's the same one your mother found, I'm sure you're going to like her. Yes, it's your mother we're talking about here. 
Oh, come on. See, the lady first. You still haven't answered my questions, Father. Let's assume I get to see this girl. I interact with her and we talked. And I still do not find her worthy enough <laughs> to spend the rest of my life with. Would you permit me to make my own choice? Hmm. There is a saying in Abadani Kingdom, and it has gained global relevance. That's because it's valid. You don't shave a man in his absence. Do not condemn the girl yet. See her first. Excuse me, sorry. See, I did not mean to get you scared. Just that. I want to intimate you on something. I don't want to really, you know, start dancing to the uh, tune of unethical fallacy that I'm a professor. I'm not, because I've not even been given the certificate. But everybody in this land, and even beyond, knows Jerry the J. They know that I know women more than they know themselves. That is why when I was coming, I visualized you from there and I noticed that something is wrong with you. I said to myself, Jay, you don't just go. That you need to come and know what is wrong with this girl. Now I'm here. Tell me, what is troubling you? Because I have solution to everything. What is the problem? Come on, you are even crying. Hello? Jerry! Huh? What happened? I don't know. I saw her die in your arms. Die? What did you do to her? I did not do anything to her. I was just trying to toast this girl. The girl just fell in my arms. My dear, <laughs> I won't blame you if you don't know Prince and my boyfriend. You know he's not loud and proud like most people in his position. Hmm. You sound like you know him very well. Of course I do. You know, after he graduated from the law school and was called to bar, his father contracted my mother as the event planner mm -hmm. to set up a state of the art graduation party in the palace for him. So money was made available to my mother and everything was really on a high speed. Um, inviting all the who is who <laughs> in the land. <laughs> but guess what, my dear? One morning, he drove to our office and um, asked my mother to put everything to a stop. Why? The same thing I told you. You know, he's really humble, decent, kind, nice, and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Seriously, he doesn't want any party. Wait, so what happened to the money the king paid your madam? Mm. As for that one, he asked my madam to keep that. That it is our luck. And guess what, my dear? She gave me 50,000 euro out of the money. <laughs> <laughs> so, honestly, if Prince Nabrifei is the man you're finally going to get married to, you should really count yourself very lucky because he is simply the best. Mm. Mm -hmm. With what you're saying, I'm liking him already. <laughs> you never liked him? Mm, not really. I was skeptical about going to see him like my mother suggested. Mm -hmm. I believe he should be the one to come see me. Okay. Mm. But hearing you talk, <laughs> I will go and see him. I know, it's even written all over you. Now you're falling in love. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget that, my dear. You're lucky, oh, Jerry. Thank you. Go to the dress 
cereal. Upstairs. Jerry, must you always be a fool? Eh? Must you always be the person that will land yourself in trouble? You can't even control this your stupid mouth. Common self-control, simple self-control, you don't have. If, if, if this girl dies now, if she dies, what will I do? Which means I'll go to jail. Hey! And that stupid, that stupid boy I met just, just told me that I must have done something to that girl to, to, to have made her to, to have defended her. What kind of rubbish is that? Eh? Let me tell you, is it not police that, that will judge if, if somebody is guilty or not? That stupid. What happened? Uh, she's fine, she's okay. She's fine. She's fine? Yes, yes, she's fine. Hey! Thank God. She's not dead. No, no, she's not. She's good. Hi! Thank God. Hi, Jesus. Um, see, Auntie, please. Since she's fine, yeah, she's okay. I'll just go and mind my own business. From today, I will learn how to control this my stupid man. Because this my stupid man nearly landed me to trouble now. So please, just give me my ID card. Let me go. Please. Your ID card? Yes. You sound as if you don't know this girl. I've not met this girl in my life, oh. I don't know her. You see, I have this talent there. If I see a pretty girl, once I approach her and talk to her, she'll just fall. Even as you are now, there's a one who talk to you now, you fall for me. So I, I saw this girl. She was just there. She was looking dejected. I said to myself, Jerry, this is an opportunity oh, for you to go and uh, try your luck. So I decided to, to try my luck as Jerry. Do you know I was talking to this girl? This girl just fainted. For no reason, she just fainted. So, since she's fine, thank God, I've learned my lessons today. You see, as from today, I'll learn how to mind my own business. So that is why I say, give me my ID card. Let me go on time before I see a girl that will, that will put me in trouble. Just give me the ID card, please. You just saved someone from starving to death. I think you should be happy. Ah. Auntie? Yes. I don't understand. What do you mean I saved somebody from starving to death? I don't understand. Hunger was her problem. She wasn't sick. Ha! Huh. She fainted practically because there was nothing in her system. I doubt if she has eaten in days. We just gave her food and she's good to go. Huh. I don't understand you. Why was that? Pretty girl starve herself to death. Your Majesty, do you know the problem I have with you? Is that you leave everything to chance. How do you mean? The young man made a strong case for himself. And I believe we should allow him to make his own decisions. Your Majesty, Linda Hamadike is the very woman I want our son to marry. And you know that he will be made king after you. And whoever he chooses becomes the women leader of this land. And how do you know the said Linda or Hamadike will make a good women leader of Abadana? What do you I say? I plead with you, my queen. Please, give this young man some space. Your Majesty, why do you sound like this? Please don't allow our son to hear this, else we begin to look down on Linda. When will she come? I wanted her to come tomorrow. But on the second thought, I asked our son to go and see her. And you think he will agree to visit the same woman he already is not seen as wife to be? Your Majesty, that is why I want you to come in as his father and king. Make him marry this woman. Our son will be very happy. Please. They said you fainted because there was practically nothing in your small intestine. I still can't understand that. Were you fasting or what? Are you Jehovah Witness? No, no sir, I am not a Jehovah Witness. What she said is what it was. I was so hungry to the point that I couldn't stand on my feet. But they gave me something to eat and now I am good to go. Thank you. Thank you so much. No, it's okay. Don't, 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 don't mention. You see, in my church, I belong to a group called Saint Vicente Paul. That is what we do. We help people. 
so that grace will be abundant to us. Meanwhile, my name is uh, Jerry DJ, Jerry Moka, from our top of this hour, Abadan. May I have the honor of knowing things about you? Well, my name is Obioma. Okay. I am also from Abadani. That's good. Yes. Sir, thank you for taking me to a place that they gave me food to eat. Right now, I really have to go. You see, your bio data is not complete. Yeah, you just told me you are Obioma. Uh, you didn't tell me your surname. You didn't tell me your village. I need to know everything about you. I, I need to see you again. Please, sir. I don't want it to seem as if I am being rude to a man that has been good to me. Oh. But the truth of the matter is, I will not want you to find me again. Because if you ever find me again, I will be in serious trouble. Oh. So please, like I said, thank you very much. God bless and reward you for, for today and for the food. Everything. I have to be on my way. No, 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 no. Wait, wait. I know you are troubled. But you know Jerry DJ now. You know me. When you know me, you don't have any trouble. Again, see, in my father's house, I stay in a very big flat. Alone, only me. I don't stay with anybody. I have food. If hunger is your problem, once you come, I give you food. Any type of food, local, international. You eat. And I have rooms there. If you don't have a place to lay your head, if you come, I give you a room. You stay comfortably. Nobody will disturb you. We we'll take conditioner. Have a conditioner. I remember that. Thank yeah. you. Hi. This pretty girl I just met, that God just gave me on a platter of gold. Why is she hiding her identity? Do you know the beauty of this girl that can make one his own, his own father? Or you see this girl? I will chop up. I will chop up. I will chop up. Who's this? Linda Homadike. How are you? The almighty Linda. I know my mother gave you my number. Thank you for calling. You're welcome, my friends. I asked what my friends was doing. Well, nothing much. I'm just sitting in the middle living room and waiting to be served my food salad. That's what I want to take for tonight. <laughs> How I wish I was there to prepare the food salad for you. I must say your voice sounds romantic tonight. Really? I'm cheered. Anyway, I'll save your number and we'll get to talk from time to time. That would be nice, my friends. When are you going to come visit? Uh, permit me to give you an answer to that question tomorrow. Um. Sorry, my salad is here. Can you allow me to call it a day when I say goodnight? Good uh, night, my friends. <coughs> the fruit salad, my friends. Thank you, Emma. You're welcome. I'm sorry, I'm okay. I'm, please come back. Yes, my friends. There is something going on around here and I don't like it. Something going on where? Thanks for the salad. Don't bother about the plate, I'll handle it. Good night. Good... Good night, my friends. Good night.
voice is so cute. And he complimented mine too. God help me, I'm falling for this girl. What do they have that I don't have? Why should I be in this palace and they are looking for another maiden that the prince shall marry? Uh, <clears throat> good evening, Your Majesty. What are you doing here? Um, nothing, Your Majesty. I was just carried away by my personal thought. Come back here. Uh, what do you mean by carried away by your personal thoughts? What are those thoughts? Um, just the same thoughts that will engage the mind of any young girl my age. Wow. Nothing to bother the queen. <laughs> it's okay, we can go. Thank you, Your Majesty. She threw away the craziness I asked her to sell and ran away. Look at the time she's coming back. Eh? She said something about being admitted in the hospital. What is the meaning of that? Did it just happen? Do you actually want her to say something? What is she going to say? Eh? Omeka, what are you doing here? No, 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 no. Who invited you to my compound? Eh? So you will not allow me a moment to rest in my house. What is it? Now, if you know what is good for you, leave this compound. I actually came here to see you. And it will be appreciated if you will handle your wife like the man. What do you say? What did I hear you say? That my husband should handle me like a man? Eh? If you want to, I'm going inside. No, 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 Obiama. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> it is because of her that I am here. And I want her to stand here as I address the issue. Yeah. You left your house this <laughs> night to my own house. To address the issue of Obioma. Give mm. Obioma Obi. What is it? She fainted today and was rushed to the hospital by a good Samaritan. Mm. They are at the hospital. The doctors and nurses found out that she was not sick. Rather, she was at the verge of starving to death. I met her on my way back home and she told me all this herself. That's what you are. You can never stay in your house. No, you have overstayed your welcome. Leave my house. Get away from my house. Now let me rest for you. What is it? Exactly eh? what I will do. But after saying this last one. Oh, okay for. If this orphan child of your brother that is under your custody. I will personally take it up with the mother of Abadan. As one has said, one handle it. Catch you for leave my house at least for once now. I can't even talk in my house. Eh? What have I done to her? If I call, this woman will climb the fence and start calling my name. If I laugh, she will come in through the gate. What is it? Eh? Money are you want on? What are you sitting there? Come on, get inside, you stupid. Get inside from oh, now, please see. Amaka is a very good maiden that has served in this palace as a chief domestic worker ever since she left the university. Mother, I know who Amaka is. What I don't understand is why you're educating me about her and how long she no, has been. No, I'm not educating you. I'm just curious. See, in this era where graduates are everywhere looking for jobs, you're asking me to tell Amaka to leave the palace. Why? Maybe I have a reactive mother. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Don't worry, I'll handle it. Oh, come on, 
handsome. Why are you shutting this in a hurry? I, I know you very well. What did she do that prompted you requesting that we ask her to leave the palace? She did not do anything. I just said maybe I overreacted. I'll handle it. Trust me. Does it have any connection with this? He introduced himself as Jerry. I believe he was God sent. Because if he had not if he had not showed up at the time he did, I probably would be a dead person by now. What happened when you came out from the hospital? Like, did he ask you out? Like, getting to know you and all that? Of course he did. But I beg, stop. Pretend that like you. I know exactly what happened to your mother. How he must have taken you to any of those low-class, short-term hotels and got the best from you. Let me tell you the truth. You are nothing but a classless girl. You don't have a class at all. result was excellent and what happened in your case you failed and yet your father was able to get you an admission into the university what stupid explanation are you giving what has that got to do with the issue under discussion everything it has everything to do with it you said it yourself that opioma has no class and i agree is it not you who is in the, in the university building your class with your poor O-level result? And I that, that have the excellent result is out all over the streets of Abadani, hawking kerosene. And on a day that I do not hawk kerosene, I hope you will not eat. Standing here, listening, listening to, to your baseless tales. Eh? Ewu Obioma, sit down here and continue fooling yourself. I am not fooling myself and you know that. Instead, what I have chosen to do is resign myself to fate. <laughs> so remain in your university. Stay there and build your class with your poor results. While I wait and pray on my God to remember me. <laughs> I know he will remember me. Uh, he will indeed remember you. <laughs> if you fail to stop for my maker out, I will make it a point of duty to sort out myself. What is it? Kitty for? Why can't I have peace in my own house? Because she lives here. Eh? Your problem should not be my America. No, it should not be your concern. Your major concern is this useless girl we have in this house that she called and she answered. Mm -hmm. eh? What kind of a thing is that? Hey! Ma? Where are you going? Where are you going this very night with this girl? On? I'm going to fetch water before they finally close their gates. Yes, so. What I try to show, to continue giving the people the impression that you work so hard in this house. Hell! Tony! What do you do? Huh? What is it that you do? Can you feel my local? say, what do you do? Well, Ma, I'm not, I'm not trying to give any impression to anybody. It's just that almost everybody in this compound uses two buckets of water to, to have their baths. <laughs> Each of at times uses three buckets. And I am the only one that fetches the water. So I, I, I thought maybe I can 
I can fetch some quantity tonight and, and, and reduce my workload tomorrow. Yeah. yeah that's... It's mado. It's boom mado. Clap for yourself. Get, get out of here. Come back here. Get out of here. Come back here. Kill yourself, Nia. This is going to be the last one. Hey, 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 hey. Stay away from my maker. I don't ever want to see you near Mama Mecca again. <laughs> yes, yes. The next time I find out that you had a discussion with Mama Mecca, that will be the day I will kill you. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Get out! 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 I wish someday somebody would just come here and indicate interest of making her his wife. I am not going to conduct any background check on the individual. I will just quietly hand her over to the person, marry, just take her out of this of this, this, this house. Eh? <laughs> Unfortunately, that evil girl, uh. nobody is going to come for her. I understand that we hate her because of what her father did to us. But don't forget, she's a good looking lady. Men one day will come here to indicate interest. You talk as if you don't know men. They all visit soothsayers before they settle for any woman. They will see with their eyes the level of the witchcraft they possess in her. So no one is going to call for her. But I will assure you. I never. Let's carry draw, not only the cat, but the water this night. Amaka. My queen. That thing you said about being carried away by your personal thought. Does that have anything to do with my son? No, Your Majesty. My personal thoughts are personal to me. Mm. It has nothing to do with the prince. Then what did you say to my son? Nothing. I simply served him the fruit salad he requested. And what did he say to you? He... What are you still doing here? You may leave. Honestly, a lot is happening in this palace that I need to get to the root of. How do you mean? I went to our son to discuss about Linda and to give him more reason why he must marry this girl. Could you believe that he abandoned the topic and went straight to another one asking me to ask Amaka to leave the palace without even explaining why? <laughs> why? I have been asking myself why are you still left with that strange woman here in this palace? Strange woman? Your Majesty, are you referring to Amaka as... My dear Queen, if you want her son to marry this lovely woman you found for him, then remove all stumbling blocks in his way. In his wisdom, he has just revealed a major stumbling block to you. What that tells me is that he is interested in the one you have found for him. Do as he advised and make things easy for my son.
Mother, mm. I took a selfie and I sent it to the Queen Mother. She said I look astonishingly, ravishingly. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I agree with her completely. Mm. You are ready to go. Yes. You know, what is making me like him the more is the information that he is so humble. <sighs> he is. That's exactly the kind of man I want for a husband. And that is exactly what I have found for you. <laughs> you should trust your mother when it comes to things like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One more thing. Your father is not aware mm -hmm. that he is going to be in law to the king. <laughs> wow. It is my surprise birthday gift to him. Oh, mother. <laughs> And we are going to keep it secret until we are through with it. <laughs> All right? Yes, mother. <laughs> Beautiful daughter. <laughs> Mama. I trust you absolutely. And that is why I invited you out early. I wanted to leave my wife to handle this matter alone. But on second thought, I felt this is the same woman that will ultimately be in leadership position of the women in Abadani Kingdom. And you decided to step into it, Your Highness. Well, there is no reason for that. But the gods have not spoken to me on that topic. Mm. Oh, well, let me speak with my king as a way to the neighbor. Allow your son to choose a wife for himself. Well, that's absolutely what I want to do. I'm not going to impose any woman on him. All I want you to do for me is tell me, the one that my wife has found for him, will she make a good wife? So I can know how to handle her. One thing I see very clearly is that the prince is going to marry a very beautiful wife. But if you ask me who she is, I will not be able to answer. Amaka, I have only two men in my life. My husband and my son. And you know them very well because you've lived in this house for three years now. Tell me, is that something that you are doing that they are not comfortable with? Is, is there any problem, Your Majesty? Let us not drag this issue. You have to leave the palace. Please. Have I done anything wrong? I have seen money and other valuable things in this palace. I have never stolen anything, Your Majesty. I didn't say that you're a thief. Something came up in the palace. And what I am doing now is the only option I have. I will call you. But for now, you have to leave. Okay? You have to go. You have to leave the palace now. I'll call you. Okay? Good evening. The sun. Where are you reaching? Um, the South African miners are having issues with the town union executive. So the secretary invited me in my capacity as a lawyer to be part of the meeting. That's where I'm headed. Amaka? What's wrong with you? Why are you crying? Some. I hope you haven't told her I asked her to leave. Mother, you're not saying anything. I hope you have not told her that. Some, let's not talk about Amaka now. Okay, you, you have to cancel the meeting you have with the miners and the union for now. Why would I do a thing like that? We're talking about a crisis that could escalate and lead to a breach of peace in this community. We're talking about something who, that could stall revenue inflow. Mother, you wouldn't ask me to, to cancel the meeting. Well, that meeting can go on without you. 
Just tell them that you won't be coming. Why? Uh, well, talk to me. Why would you want me to call them and tell them I won't be attending the meeting? Son, Linda or Hamadika will be coming here to visit you. I mean, it should be so unfair for her to get here. You're not in the house. Can't you see? Please, just... Where are you going? really mean anything to this boy. And you're not going with me. I have another assignment for you. What assignment do you have for me? My mother invited someone for me. And I learned she's on her way to this palace, as to speak. I want you to handle that business. Keep her company till I'm back. Okay, no problem. All right. Tell me to do that. Am I a monk? <sighs> Linda, I am not happy the way you're throwing yourself at this guy. How do you mean? Okay, fine. His mother woke you up in the middle of the night with a call. Fix the meeting between you and her son. And this very early morning, you're already dressed up. And what is wrong with that? Please, I'm not used to what you girls call African time. Ah. For real? Hmm. Good morning, Your Majesty. How are you, dear? I'm fine. Where are you? I'm at home with my friend, Joanne. That you saw her picture. I'm about leaving. Oh, I I called to let you know that the prince just left the palace. What happened? He's not there. Uh, he was called for a brief meeting in the town hall. It has, it's something that has to do with um, the kingdom revenue. But he said he'll be there briefly. So you don't want me to come again? Uh, no, 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 no. I, I just called to keep you posted. Start coming immediately. Okay, Your Majesty, I'm on my way. I'll be waiting. Again. Hmm? Your food is at the backyard. Eat and get ready to go and sell my cuisine. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Who's less care? She would like to make people believe she's working so hard. Thank you, ma'am. Please, mother. I don't want to talk about the preparing. It's your food. Oh, my dear. 
into the dog's plate because I don't want this useless girl to eat this food. I don't want to talk to it at all. Put it together. Come on then. She go here now. Ma? Is, is, is this the breakfast? No! My breast milk is the breakfast. Come and sit down here and suck my breast. Come and suck my breast. And you could bore you. So this one is not enough for you. This breakfast is not enough for you. Eh? Look at that one. Get out of my sight. Get out. Unuri. Look at her. She be a useless girl. Mom, see? Why do you imagine? She even has the call to ask me if that was her breakfast. <laughs> Hey, Monsieur. Put the foot on the dogs. Are you dumb or something? What's that supposed to mean? Is that an insult or what? She was the one who is being insulted. You don't even get it. Okay. A man who wants to marry you does not visit you. He's not making any effort to woo you properly as a woman. And finally, his mother fixed the meeting between the both of you. He could not even as little as wait for you. Gosh. Did you just hear what I said? What did you say? He went to the town hall because something came up. Something that has to do with kingdom revenue. And whatever you call kingdom revenue cannot be delegated to someone else. You know what, Linda? I am not ever going to talk to you about this again. Just do whatever makes you happy. What has come over you? Are you jealous of me or what? Jealous? <laughs> oh, please, come off it. You know what, Linda? I am only concerned. I don't want this guy to take advantage of you. Don't bother about me. I am living as in right now. Don't waste the food. I, I want to eat it. And who told you I'm wasting it? I'm taking it to the dog. Or do you want me to starve the poor dog? Ichoma, please. I will take this one to the dog. But let me have this one, please. I'm very hungry. I see we are more important than the dog. <laughs> Don't forget to dry the plates after the shingle.
I've sent her out of the palace as she requested. But as your wife, I request to know why you refer to her as a stumbling block. Hmm. It is good. You have done well to have sent her away from the palace. I spoke with Obuefu uh, Dedebona this morning, and I know what he said to me. I do not want to speak any further about your maid. I bow in greeting to my king and queen. A beautiful maiden by the name Linda Ohamadike is here in the palace to see the prince. I asked her to wait in the palace waiting room too. Oh, oh. go and send her in. Uh, we've been waiting for her. Okay. Send her in. Go, go, go. Bring her in. Thank you, Majesty. and visit. Put me to say one more time that you are astonished. Oh, not again. You make me shy with your endless flattery. No, I'm not flattering you. Look at you. You're beautiful. You know, when the prince was leaving, he told me that a maiden was coming to the palace to see him. I was surprised because no maiden has ever come to the palace to look for the prince. And then in anticipation, I awaited to know what this lady would look like. But I've seen you, I'm not disappointed at all. You're beautiful. You're a sensation. Thank you. Can you please take me to the queen now? Oh, yes, yes, of course. This way. Come along. What kind of useless information are you giving to this girl? Eh? That I'm not qualified to be greeted with, sir. No, 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 no. Hey, you qualify to be greeted with, sir. Eh? Hey, Dose, let me even ask you. Do you have any stove? Tell me, what are you doing with Krasin? I hope you're not planning to sleep with this Krasin hawker. You idiot! Because that's the only thing you do with them. You are an idiot! Who? Eh? What kind of rubbish are you telling this girl? Eh? You are mad. Were you not the one who started the rubbish? No, 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 no. An innocent girl greeted me. And you're here telling her that I'm not qualified to be greeted with sir. In another room. Eh? See, see, see. Next time you try this nonsense, eh? Next time you try this well, nonsense. Shut, 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 shut up. Next time. And first of all, I told you to. Why don't you go? I told you to respect yourself. Idiot. Next time you try this nonsense, I'll car. You cannot do anything. Shut up. 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 Shut Inside my mouth. No, no, no. She just went in to prepare for you to swim. Hey. Come on, come back here, idiot. Come back here. It doesn't say, let me warn you. Eh? You see this nonsense that just happened now. If you, if you repeat it again, eh? I will kill you. You will kill me. You will kill me because of nonsense. I will kill you. Don't try me. Oh. You idiot. Huh? You idiot. Eh? Look how you have made me to lose this girl now. Oh, it doesn't me, idiot. You have just made me to lose this girl now. No, you idiot. Oh. No problem. Thank you. 
Come, let me ask you. Does it mean you don't go to school? Um, I am done with my secondary education. There is no money to further. Is it not better to find out that you're doing? Like becoming a sister to somebody. I mean, something that could help you go back to school. I have thought about that. Mm -hmm. But I know they will not allow me. And I can't disobey them. What are you talking about? Who are the people? I don't want to bother you with my stories. Thank you. Thank you for buying my kerosene. Who are these people disturbing this game? You know, my mother has told me a lot of wonderful things about you. And believe me, I am not disappointed. You are just as ravishing as she described. You sure when we start from where Colin stopped? That guy is simply a clown. <laughs> <laughs> but in the meantime, thank you for your compliment. You're welcome. Can we just um, take a walk around the palace? I'm here for you, my friend. If he likes her, I don't have any problem with that. He's the one getting married, not me. My king, I know that he's the one getting married. But as a man sitting in a position of authority, what is your impression about that girl? <laughs> well, um, I think she's good looking, beautiful. And from my brief encounter with her, also she's smart, intelligent, mm. and well nurtured. But then again, now we face the one getting married, not me. Mm. He's the one that will decide what he wants. Mm. She's smart, intelligent, well nurtured. Our son will be so happy to hear what you've said about his wife to be. I'll tell him about mm -mm. it. Don't tell him anything. I'll tell him myself. You have made an excellent choice for our son. Thank you, my king. You've made my day with these words. Thank you. <laughs> I have a friend that works in the firm that your father hired to plan your aborted graduation party. Really? Yeah. She told me how you aborted the whole plan and asked them to keep the money. I don't want to talk about it. You just, you just told me you don't like noise and that's why I remembered it. Do you like noise? Mm, not really. Just that I'm an extrovert and I associate myself with people that can add positive vibes to my life, so... Nabife, I am your mother, and I want the best for you. Linda Ohamadike is a girl that was trained by her mother. She is a true definition of the word decency. If you make her your wife, that girl will worship you for the rest of her life. I beg you, son, give me this last chance to deliver this God to you. You're not saying anything. You don't like noise, or you don't like extroverts. My mother told me a lot of things about you. <laughs> and I make bold to say you are a nice person. Your mother proposed to me. <laughs> Funny, isn't it? <laughs> I told her you should be the one proposing. You see, there are lots of things we need to talk about. Let's leave my mother for now. Okay. So. Oh. 
Obiama. What is the problem? Stay away from Mameka. I don't ever want to see you near Mameka again. Yes, yes. The next time I find out that you had a discussion with Mameka, that will be the day I will kill you. Yes, 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 Hey, the one no more. This woman is bent on destroying this innocent child. Oh. You know, mother, first impression they say is very important. I've interacted with her and I must tell you, you found an amazing woman. That is why I found her for you. Because I knew that my son will never disappoint this family. Thank you for that confirmation. Just like your father, <laughs> you've also made my day. Trust me. <laughs> but mom, don't you think you're moving too fast? Too fast? How? Linda Ohamadike is a very beautiful woman. I mean, even her enemies are helpless because they know she's a woman who has the courage to go all out. I mean, she's unstoppable. <laughs> because she was made in the caliber of queens. Something tells me that she will be the perfect leader of women after me. You know, mother, I said everything I said to prove to you that I hold. Absolutely nothing against her. That's it. <laughs> However, she's not my wife. Did you just say that? I will find my wife. And when I do, I'll bring her to you. Thanks for all the effort you have made. I appreciate you. Mama Casilo, get out of my house! I know why she saw me and refused to speak to me. You have issued your useless threats on the innocent child. My house. Listen to me, Ngole. The spirit of the just will not allow you to destroy this innocent child. Thank God you are here. Listen to me, Obiaba. This woman here is not your God. You refuse to speak to or even greet me because she asks you not to. Hey! This woman is destroying you. Hey, hey, hey. Why are you looking for trouble? I thought my mother told you to, to leave our house. Leave! No, she's still here. Eh? You are still here. Useless daughter of the Useless. Hey. Where is she? Where is that girl? You see, son, the first time I met your father, I never liked him. I married him because he had the basic qualities I needed in a man. But as days turned to weeks, weeks to months, I began to love him. Son, love is a process. 
If Linda or Madike has the basic qualities you need in a woman, why not allow her into your life? And in due time, you see the virtues in this girl. Mother, you talk as though you have forgotten I'm a grown man. Allow me to find the woman I need as a wife and bring her to you. Linda is not my wife. What I need in a woman is not complex and complicated. The process leading to the wife that the prince will marry shall be very complex and complicated. But one thing is very clear. That the prince is going to marry a very beautiful woman. But if you ask me who it's going to be, I will not be able to answer. Complex and complicated. Why use such expression? I mean, that's the expression that came to my mind. Linda as a woman is a good person. But she's not my wife. Allow me find my wife. Do me a favor, son. What favor? Go and visit Linda tomorrow. <sighs> I don't want you to miss this girl. Please, son. Noted, mother. Thank you. I told you not to discuss me with anybody. And you went back to the same mommy maker I warned you against. Yeah? Oh, oh no, I swear. Mother, I swear. I swear with my life I did not tell her anything. I was even surprised that she came here. Ah! What stupid life do you have to swear with? What stupid life do you have to tell me you swear with? <laughs> Where is this girl? Why would this girl just come back with people and set her on air? Why is she? Come on, she's going to go. I'm just, just killing with my hair. Useless girl. Can you imagine? Come on, take out of here. Whoever that will be flown with this kind of game? Hey! That person must have committed a very big abomination. Actually, I did not even see it very well because you were in a hurry. See, you are a true definition of beauty. Do you know your beauty can make one forget he has not taken breakfast? I'm serious. Look at the sun rising in your eyes. See, I bless this day I'm meeting you for the first time. I bless it. I'm a lucky man. Keynes. What are you doing with Keynes? I am sorry. I'm sorry. It's so important. <laughs> I like this girl. I like you. Where have you been living? How come I never met this amazing girl all my life? How come? I've been in this village for a long time. How come I've never seen you? My name is Jerry. You can call me Jay. What is your name? I meet you, Ma. Wow. Beautiful name. Pretty name. 
you deserve the name. Thank you. Yeah, you see, eh? The type of beauty you have is enough to make one cancel any appointment just because of the type of class you command. In fact, I'm actually going to see a senator. He said he's going to open up a borehole here. I have an important appointment with him, but because of you, I'm going to cancel everything because I want to know you more. I want to know everything about you, your name, where you stay. I just want to know everything. Really? Yes. What sort of nonsense is this? Welcome now, you know. What has she committed this time around? This useless girl is not even the problem. This German that I sent to buy me cake since 4 p.m., 4 o'clock, has not returned with the cake. Oh my God, yeah. Come on, no, no, no. You don't need to waste your money to buy cake because of this one. All you need is just to use. Papa, do not do Today they were meeting for the very first time. That is how much you've kissed me. I'm serious. You are a mature girl. girl. <laughs> and that is one thing I like about you. Other useless girls, when you meet them, they will just tell you, ah, ah you just met, that we should take it step by step and all those bull crap. But me and you, we have chemistry. You know what? You did chemistry, right? Yeah. You know how hydrochloric acid is mixed with SO4 to give you hydrogen tetra six. <laughs> that is how you are. I just met you. You gave yourself to me because you believe I'm a big boy in this Abadani. That is what you believe. And this is what I will not forget in a hurry. I promise you. You sure have a way with words. I, I don't know if I can ever say it to the things you request. Useless daughter of a useless woman. Oh, Chaka Omaka. Take a look at yourself. No, 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 no. Mama, I don't like this. I, no, I don't like it. I always get a mess one. You don't just come from anywhere. You'll be insulting me and my babe now. I don't like it. No, See, no, respect no, is reciprocal. No, 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 it's you see this woman here? She's a troublemaker, full of evil. I've seen it already. Your evil will surely find you. Yeah, you evil, you are a sadist. <laughs> baby, come here. Hmm? Yeah. The girl yeah. that needs to be punished. Yeah, but I'm relating herself all over the village. Like the pendulum of a clock. Huh? The one that needs parts on the back is being punished on a daily basis. What kind of nonsense is this? Wow. You won't believe what happened to me today in the palace. Mm -hmm. He took me for a walk and there is nothing he didn't tell me. Okay, so why didn't he propose to you? Mm, I guess he's still trying to figure it out. Okay. But I saw lost in his eyes. He practically stripped me naked with his eyes. <laughs> wow. Love is so strong. He's the one calling. <laughs> Hello? Hello. I just called to know where you are. I'm home already, my friend. I guess you're missing me. I miss you too. Oh, that's nice to know. I called to know what your tomorrow would be like. My tomorrow? Do you want me to come to the palace tomorrow? No, not really. I want to come to your place myself. 
Wow, that's the best thing I've heard in my life. Oh, come off it, Linda. Why would you say it's the best thing you've heard all your life? The love of my life. <laughs> Prince in a brief of Agbadani is coming to see me in my place. I shall be waiting the whole of tomorrow. No, no, you don't have to wait the whole tomorrow for me. I'll be coming to your place from 4 p.m. And I shall be waiting. All right. Thank you. See you. Oh my God. He's coming. Yes, I see you. <laughs> That's a good news, seriously. You know, I'm doing this because of my mother. On the contrary, you're doing this because of yourself. I've seen beautiful maidens before, but Alinda, huh, she's something else. She's a sensation. I thank God I told her that. What? You told her what? But she's a sensation. By all standards, she's the most beautiful woman in Angadani. And we should be thankful to your mother for making the perfect choice for you. Huh? You must marry her. I will do everything within my powers to make sure you marry that maiden. You must. Because she will add more years to your life. Uh, um, um, Collins, can you do me a favor? Yes, my friends. Shut up. Okay. You know, the mere fact that he picked his phone to call you shows that you're better than me when it comes to following me. You practically ignored all my warnings and gave him a chance to prove himself. I'm sure you're good. Hmm. I guess he's coming tomorrow to propose to me. Hmm. I'm going to say yes before he finish proposing. <laughs> I love him so much. Okay, so tell me, what are you going to prepare for him? Something special. Okay. Maybe our local salad. You know, something that has to do with our traditional Agbadani touches. <laughs> you! Local salad with traditional touches. Can you go through that stress? Yes. That's nothing for the one you love. <laughs> okay. <laughs> In fact, that is what I'm going to prepare for him. Okay. He knows the whole stress that goes with the preparation. Mm. So he's going to appreciate me more and love me more. Oh, <laughs> Linda Omadike is going to be royalty by marriage. And you are going to be part of the people directly sharing from the kingdom's revenue. Honestly, I am happy for you. Thank you. I'm not happy anymore. This one, your face is like this. Oh, don't try to make me smile because I am very angry with you. Where are you coming from? Ebekis. Mumsi, don't you trust me again? Popsi, are you so angry with me? Your mother told me that she sent you to go and buy ordinary cane. She was to use to flog the hair out of that useless daughter of my brother. But you disappeared. Where did you go to? Imagine the time you are coming back. Eh? Oh, okay. I, I should because of useless Obioma missed the opportunity of changing my course from single honors to a professional course. My parents should, should not just jump into conclusions without without listening to their daughter. This is not fair. It's your mom. It has not got into that now. Eh? What happened? Mom, see, as soon as I left, I got a call that the dean of our faculty wanted to see me. You? The person said that he was actually waiting for me on his desk. Hey. So I... This is why I hate this country. They always put people in that. Yes. Maybe small tight corner. Hey. This was actually the very first time in my life I bought Okada along the expressway. Eh? Finally, I got to school and the man was not on his desk. Hey, Wam. So you took all that risk and still didn't meet the man. How? I can see your frustration. You see it? Eh? Can you imagine? 
Imagine on the expressway. Can you imagine? Eh, my beautiful daughter. Biko, let's go inside and take your shower. I'm sorry, sorry. I've finished cooking your, your dinner. Okay. Hey. 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 Uh, and you are actually eggs, babe. What type of rubbish is that? It does it. What type of rubbish is this now? You are insulting me now. Huh? What rubbish is that? What is your business if I if I bring any gear here or if I chop any gear here? You see my problem with you village boys. I was just on my own, no? You and that your stupid friend. You came, you said you want to be my friend. I said fine, let me just help you people. Now you are you are insulting me. Who they see what to tap and have bas mafia? Ah, Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. I don't like this type of problem. See, see, my problem with you is that you get angry. You get angry. Why would I get angry? Why would a man that has the, 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 the sixth leg come here and be telling me that he wants to go and sleep with my girl? What sort of sorry, rubbish sorry. is that? No, I don't like don't tell me sorry, that kind of rubbish. Sorry. I'm and you even had the ghost sorry, going man. in there. Yeah. See, I'm in a very good mood. Don't get me out. Otherwise, I'll chase you out. What, 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 is, what is wrong if you allow me to go in and eat that babe? Eh? Have you not been eating girls to, uh, together? Have you not been eating babes together? Eh? Or if you're not here? Edozi, I have clearly understood your mission mm. this night. Yeah. You just came here to make me angry. How? But I refuse to be gotten angry. Huh. You can see I'm in a very good mood. The truth is that this girl you are talking about, she has come and gone. She came, she gave me the only thing I needed. That was the ubo. So I've eaten the ubo and discharged her. So there is no need of eating her again. Hey, Jeremiah, my ma. See, 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 see. Those are the kind of babes I like. <laughs> I'm happy for you. <laughs> see what you do for me, eh? Just give me the particulars of those girls that doesn't tell stories. <laughs> I want to go and equally try my luck. He might eat Diego. You see, Eduzi, eh? you have succeeded in proving to me that you are as foolish as Oki of Irowe village. Eh? Yes! You are foolish. You are stupid. Oh, no, no, are you not a useless carpenter? How? Eh? You are a useless carpenter. So as a useless carpenter, if you want to try your luck, you try your luck on those mahogany trees you use in doing your carpentry work. Uh, I'm not my you lead. Say, uh, don't, 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 don't just insult me. No, you see that is insulting me. Well, point of correction. How can you come here and be telling me you want to try your luck on my, uh, on my girl? Jerry, it's okay. Stupid carpenter it's like okay. you. Don't, don't, don't just call me carpenter again. You are a carpenter. I am not a carpenter. Uh, what's, what, what's the problem? I am not a carpenter. I am a furniture maker. You see how stupid that is? What is the difference between a carpenter and a furniture maker? Okay, fine. If you say you are a furniture maker, mm -hmm. no problem. As a furniture maker, eh, go and try your luck with wood. You use wood now to work. If you go back to your working place, you try your luck with wood or mahogany tree. I hope you kill us. Jerry, Jerry, stop saying this now. I, eh? See, eh? I'm just, I'm I'm just about... realizing you people are too local. I am talking about babe. You are talking you know about what? Go back to your house. Bye bye. Good night. Jerry! 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 Hey, 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 hey,
I am talking to you and you are walking away. To walk out of me. Eh? In Apoala? Yeah. Oh, Guinea. Why did you... What is it? Why are you blocking my path? Do I have any business with you? You cannot tell me that you have seen me before. My name is Yedosia. I am a confirmed troublemaker. See, the highest you can do is uh, to go, 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 go and call police. And they will come and arrest me. Put me in the cell. And I will come out again. If I come out, trouble continues. Hey! Oh, oh! Mm -hmm. See, what do you want? Yeah! Hey, what's the Hey, what's the Just quietly. No. Follow me to that bush, that farm. At the back of that farm there. I've already arranged where it will happen. Follow me quietly and give it to me. You know what I mean? Oh, I will, I will drag by force. Drag you forcefully and take it by force. Listen, my dear, I am Unabife, the prince of the land. I will take you to the hospital and take care of the bills. You don't need to cry. I am, I am okay, sir. I didn't injure myself. And even if I did, it's not your fault. It's my fault. Then why are you crying? I hate to see a maiden cry. I left my house with 3,000 naira worth of currency. I have only sold 600 naira worth. Only for me to waste the remaining currency on a rapist. She's going to give me to zero. She will give me to zero. She will give me. Oh. Your mother? <laughs> my, my auntie, the, the woman I live with, my mother is dead. <laughs> it's okay. Please do me a favor. Don't cry, okay? I'll take care of it. I'll take care of everything. <laughs> Everything is set. I can't wait for him to slip the ring into my finger. <laughs> Linda, you know what? I want you to come cut yourself, okay? I don't want this guy to know that you're desperate. <sighs> but that's the word. Have you ever been married to a prince before? I understand. Yes, I do. Linda, Linda, please. Comport yourself. Because I don't want this guy to take advantage of you if he finds out that you're desperate. Thank you for your advice, Joan. But sincerely, I don't need it. Please. My O-level result was the best. You can even ask my school principal at the Community Girls Secondary School. She will attest to the fact that 
My result was good. I got a 290 score in jump. But my uncle, who is now my father, refused that I would go to school. Instead, I hawk. I sell kerosene on the street for my auntie, who is his wife. It's okay, Blue. It's okay. Sorry. <laughs> okay, take her. This will be enough for you to protect yourself from them and their battery. I'll see you tomorrow. T tomorrow? You want to come to my house? Please don't come because then they will kill me. Please. They will not kill you. That's my card. When you get to the house and there's a problem, give me a call and I will come. What's the matter? Yeah? What's the problem? Um, I don't have a phone. I, I, I've never had a phone. to get yourself a phone. There is still time. I will be expecting your call today. Bye. Take it, please. In fact, I'm very happy with you for not allowing the date, the sudden death of your husband to affect you. I met to be a son, a maker, about three days ago. He's not doing badly at all. Thanks for the compliment. I appreciate. Thank you. But sincerely, I am here for something else. Something that concerns you. Myself? Yes. And what could that be? As the head of uh, Umolisa, extended family, why haven't you called uh, Ichi Ilo Akasia and wife to order? No, 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 I don't understand. What do you mean by calling them to order? Ichi Ilo Akasia and wife are planning to force that orphan child living with them into committing suicide. They don't treat her like a human being at all. It's all common okay. to people. Okay. Thank you very much for taking this pens. You see, I want to leave a posterity to judge a you like Cassie and the wife. So, don't disturb yourself. I'm a man maker. Linda, how did it go? Your Majesty, I decided not to bother you with my calls. I called him a couple of times, but he didn't pick. I'm still here waiting for him. What do you mean by 
you are still there. You mean he, he didn't come there? All the things I prepared are still here with me. I'm still waiting for the prince. Okay, I'll call you back there. Then where did he go? Uh, he told me he was going to see Linda when he left my side. Uh, what is going on with me? Where did he go? Johanna's been saying, hey, this guy's not serious. How come I didn't see this coming? I just spoke with Linda and she confirmed that you didn't come to her place. What happened? But I ran into something bigger than Linda, so I changed my mind. Something bigger than Linda? And what could that be? I'm not confirming anything. But since you and Dad started piling up pressure on me to get married, today is the day I saw someone with possible hope of becoming a wife to me. That unprecedented hope is bigger than Linda. That's all I can say for now. Do I understand that to mean you ran into another woman? Not just another woman. A woman with potential. A woman whose potential could not be nurtured because she was from a poor background. There was no way she could maximize it. A woman who would appreciate whoever helps her maximize her potential. That is the kind of woman I want to get married to. Not some babe like Linda who has everything going for her who is already made. I forbid you. Not before you're a prince. The heir apparent to the throne. Do you think I'll sit here and watch you bring anyone that had no son that into this family? But I get sick. I get sick each time you make reference to what it is you call no son in. There is nobody in this world who doesn't have a son in. Even a child born by a single parent has a son in because he or she did not fall from the skies. I want to get married to a woman whom I will be part of her history. Not someone who has a flourishing history already. Let me be sincere with you. You don't know what you're saying. I think I've been quiet and silent on this. That's why they think I'm some boy they can push around anyhow. It's about time I stood my ground. Have I not been vindicated? Have I not been vindicated? I told you people that Obi Oba has been stealing from me, but you wouldn't listen. See, she has a new phone. Give me. Eh? This girl will not kill me in this house. Mm -hmm. Why are you looking at me like that? Thief. Tell them where you got the money to buy this phone. I'm not a thief. Ijoma, stop calling me a thief because you know I'm not a thief. Shut up your mouth. You useless kid. Where did you get the money to buy this phone? I don't have this phone! My phone that I bought to pay. She's not even denying it. She's not denying it though. If we get. <laughs> hey, Mama. Yes. Where did you get money to buy this phone? <laughs> when I, I, I ran into the prince when I was almost. I was about to be raped by, by a rapist. He's the one that gave me the money to buy the phone. That's no. not going straight, Mom. <laughs> she seduces men and sleeps with them. I wonder so, what she did with the prince. That useless prince. Obioma, now tell me, what did you do with the prince that made him to buy such an expensive phone for you? What did you do? I not say anything, I don't do. Good evening. Good evening, madam. We were just 
discussing about you and you entered. I explained to Collins here that I gave that maiden some money to get herself a phone. And he told me my benevolence might have landed her in trouble. I can't see Collins is right after all. I've just come to tell you that I'm interested in her and I would not want her to be punished for anything. was not explicit. From the way she sounded, she sounded weak. And I have this feeling that the prince is interested in someone else. Huh? I regret not listening to you. <sighs> Linda. At this point, I am going to let you handle this your way. But first of all, order advise you to go to the palace. Meet the prince face to face and confirm from him first. Yeah. If he wants me, he will come here and find me. As long as he's not ready to follow it up and woo me like a lady, he can as well go to hell. You know, seriously, this is one reason I don't give in to any man. Until he has proven his intentions beyond reasonable doubt. To be sincere, this young man has done nothing to me. He promised me nothing. I'm just the one that did not apply caution to all of this. <clears throat> My prince, I don't understand what you mean by interacting with the maiden. Do you mean you want to make her your wife? If God decides to make her my wife, I will be delighted. What I know is that she's qualified to be a wife to me. God is the one to make it work. Um, <clears throat> I will personally do everything within my powers to make her marry you. Oh, thank you. In that case, I'll send someone to come over tomorrow and pick her up at noon. Mm. I'd like to interact further with her at the palace. No problem. No problem. <laughs> hey. There is something I want to make clear to you. I know the prince very well, and he cannot just give you money without taking advantage of you. Can you deny it? Ijoma, you know it very well yourself that when it comes to opening up to men, I am not as useless as you are. How dare you? How stupidly useless? Huh. Is it me that you called useless? Slap me again. Right here. Slap me again. I will so deal with you in this house. I will deal with you in this house. Hello? Hello, this is the prince. I'm already at the palace. I already told your auntie and your uncle not to send you on any errand tomorrow. Why though? My prince, I am not a lazy person. I am not afraid of walking. Tomorrow is exempted. I will send someone to bring you to the palace. Get ready and make sure you are in your best dress. Okay, my prince. I will be waiting. And thank you for coming at the time you did today. You saved me from being flogged. God saved you. And he'll continue to save you. Bye bye. Bye. If a madonna, did 
Jennifer Chukunete, Onye Chukunetu, Adegiano Madugeme. You said you consulted the chief priest on this issue. I also did. And from what has happened so far, I would like to suggest that we allow him to choose his own wife by himself. But what if he chooses someone that is not royalty? Oh, come on. Let's not preempt his decisions yet. He's the one who's going to marry the woman, not us. Your Majesty, this son was given to us by God. Mm -hmm. And so far he has proven to be decent. Yes. Your Majesty, it's our responsibility to guide him so that he doesn't make mistakes. Especially when it comes to this issue of picking a wife. So what makes you think he won't make the right decision? Hmm? Now, forget that he's our son. He's now a man. A lawyer. They call them... Um, a oh, learned gentleman. <laughs> Let us trust him to make the right decisions. <laughs> Your Majesty, why are you sounding this way? We are talking about royalty, royal marriage that has a particular pattern, and we must stick to that pattern. Hmm. My beautiful, darling, lovely queen. I do not know the pattern that you are talking about. Remember that I found you by myself. And my father did not stick to any pattern by imposing a woman on me. He allowed me to choose my own wife. And here you are. An excellent wife to the king. Hmm? Let us trust in our faith. Let us allow him to enjoy the same privilege. I'm humbled by the reason you gave for choosing the hawker you met only today. That means I was right in choosing to come to the palace to work as your personal assistant. You're a good man with a good heart. And God will bless you for choosing to help the poor and the downtrodden. Collins, it wouldn't be right to call her a hawker. She's not a hawker. She passed her own level. As a matter of fact, the overall best student in the community college. Her uncle and his wicked wife turned her into a hawker so they can make her useless in life. And God sent you to salvage her. I'm humbled by that. That is why I'll give you all the assistance you need to succeed in this your mission. I humble myself before the Queen Mother. She shall live long, Your Majesty. I overheard you telling my son that you will assist him. What are you assisting him on? Your Majesty. I... I will... What's the meaning of this? When did you become a samurai? What are you promising my son? I'm sorry, Mom, but this imposition has gotten out of hand. Does it mean I can't have a private conversation in my own wing of the palace with my personal assistant without having you interfere? Who has bewitched you? Why are you talking to your mother like that? All right. Excuse me, Your Majesty. My prince. The woman I have chosen for myself will be in this palace tomorrow. Judge her when you see her. Who is she and who are her parents? She has no parents. As a matter of fact, she's an orphan whom God sent my way for me to wipe her tears. That's a huge responsibility that has all the ingredients of nobility. And I will never shy away from that responsibility. Why am I having this feeling that you're being controlled from somewhere? From the camp of the enemies of this land? And why do I have this feeling that my mother doesn't know where to stop? Whether you weren't born into royalty. You were married from outside royalty and made royalty by marriage. That poor girl needs assistance. And we must give her assistance. If you do not mind, I wish to be left alone. Good evening, my dear. I have always noticed that you are the first person to come here every morning and fetch water. And you have always been the last person 
to come here at night, every other night. What kind of family are you from that uses water like this? Um, we, uh, my family, we, we need water a lot. We need water for different things. We, we use water in the morning, in the afternoon, uh, and in the night. You talk as if you are a slave to a family. And what type of family is it that uses a beauty like you as slave? I really want to fetch water and, and, and return to fetch about two more gallons. The idea is that if I fetch en enough tonight, I will reduce my, my, my workload for tomorrow. Please. Can, can I fetch that? I am bothered. If we allow her to get married to the prince, I disagree with you. It is our gain if she gets married to the prince because we will get connected to the crown and become royalty by marriage. From all that I have gathered, the madness started today. The prince has not made any inquiries on her. But trust me, by tomorrow, no more inquiries will be made on her head. Have you stopped to ask yourself what will become of us when they finally find out that she is a witch? Won't they tag us family that are involved in witchcraft? Go on. Spare me all those details. You and I know very well that Obioma is not a witch. She is never a witch. She has nothing to do with witchcraft in any way. We fabricated all this to dehumanize her and to make her feel like committing suicide. If God has decided to smile at us through her, let us be happy. I hate it so much when you try to convince me of that. Eh? Why we God Suddenly smile at us through your Obioma. Because he is God. Can't you see? If not God, how can the prince leave all the beautiful maidens in Abadani and beyond come seeking for Obioma's hand in marriage? Obioma, who does not even have a single clue to put on to impress anybody. Eh? Colega. Let us swallow our pride and bless their marriage to succeed because we are going to benefit from it. We are going to be royalty through Obioma's marriage with the prince. You need him repentance. Repent! Mother, her name is Obioma. The orphan I told you about, she stays with her uncle, Ichie Lakasi of Endo Village. She matched the overall best student in her all levels at the community college. Mother, she has so much hidden potentials. And I love her so much. I want to get married to her so I can unravel those hidden potentials. I forbid you. Do you hate me this much? Hate? What do you mean by that, mother? So, if I was dead already, and you were left with the responsibility of bringing in someone that could replace me, 
So, so this thing is what you could have brought for them to give my staff of office. Mother, just stop this endless recourse to physical attributes. Look beyond the physical. Looks can be deceptive, you know. I am going to close my eyes. And by the time I open them, you must have developed wings and fly away like the witch that you are. And never you again step foot in this palace. Get out! Oh, oh, yeah. allowed you to bring in that useless girl to desecrate my husband's eyes? The girl you brought here is not qualified to be seen by the king. Your majesty, I know you trust my judgment. Your son here brought in a girl that does not even know the basic rules of millennium makeup. She's gone and over my dead body will she ever set foot in this house again. Father, what has come over her? What is wrong with mother? That girl is the girl I love and she's the one I want to get married to. Why would she say that will only happen over her dead body? I will only give you one advice, my son. Do not let a maiden come between you and your mother. I will not allow her to impose a woman on you. But if she doesn't like the one you have found, find another. Your mother will do something remarkable the day you bring the one she loves. She will willingly hand her her staff of office. Walk towards that, my son. She doesn't know the basic rules of Millennium makeup and doesn't dress well. Since when did my mother become this materialistic? My friends, what happened? What did you tell her? My mother wants to resurrect the bad boy in me. She wants to see the dark side of me. The dark guy I was on campus. She shouldn't dare me. Confusing me. I don't know what happened. What happened? What did you tell her that made her run away like that? I want to be left alone. I, I want to be left alone. My friends, you've already denounced campus confraternity, whatever they are called. You're not a new man. You better start below at that. Nobody should force you to go back to your vomit. Gentlemen, don't go back to your vomit, my friends. I presume that you are Ishie Ilu Akasia of Eno village. I am here to warn you. Warn your niece to stay away from my son. They don't belong to the same level and they shall never. Your Majesty, I was made to understand that it was your son that ran into my niece when she was busy with her legitimate business of hawking cruising for my wife. Like you said, my niece told your son that they are not of the same class, but your son wouldn't listen. And that is because of the witchcraft that she bewitched my son with. Now listen to me each year. 
That sorcery and witchcraft you're practicing in this house will never work against my son. I don't want to come here for this again. Am I not vindicated? I am vindicated! Exactly what I said. The Queen now believes that we are into sorcery and witchcraft. That is rubbish! Am I the one that pushed Obi to run into the prince? Eh? Both of them will have to sort themselves out. Why are you not seeing this from the right perspective? Okay. I'm not seeing it from the right perspective. You are the one that is not saying it from the right perspective. Obioma's marriage to the prince is going to be a blessing to this family and I will not stop saying the possibility of saying it. The queen herself is too basic to stop it if God already approves it. If you have access to her, tell her that I said so. Evil girl. She is exposing this family negatively of where. Okay. How will anyone explain this? I mean, what is he doing with a mere kerosene hawk? I felt like vomiting. When that man told me that it was my son, Nabife, that proposed to that girl as she was doing her business of kerosene hockey. Ha! Ah. I feel terribly disappointed. Is that the kind of man I would have married? You're not getting the point. My before my son is a decent man. I just believe that he's being manipulated by our enemies. And all we have to do now is to rally around him until he comes back to his full senses. Sincerely, Your Majesty, I don't believe that. He knows the kind of woman he wants. He already made up his mind for the kind of woman he wanted. I hold nothing against him though. But I feel stupid that I didn't see all of this coming. Do not blame yourself, my daughter. He has made his choice. We have to respect his choice. But that hasn't watered down. The fact that my daughter is a woman of class. Whatever evil veil that is covering Nabife, my soul's face, must be removed. All I know is that my son must marry the one I chose. And that person, my dear, is you, Linda. Okay? Don't worry. Seriously, Dad, I see this as a game plan. And in your capacity as a retired Air Force officer, I don't see you having a problem playing this game for my friend. There is only one reason I'm interested in this uh, quote and unquote game of yours. And that's why I will allow my husband to take part in it. I see genuine love. And I don't want that love to die. Thank you, Ma. Thank you so much. I've already found for her a place she would be trained in cosmetology and fashion. She would do that for one year. I just want her to live with you. It will help me a lot. Young man, I actually understand what you want us to do for you. The only problem we would have encountered in this process would have been convincing my wife. But now she has accepted to help without waiting for me to ask. That means we are on the same point. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. You don't know what you have done for me. I appreciate it a lot. Thank you. Oh. God bless you. <laughs> please, please, please. Stand up, please. You don't know what you have done. You don't understand how deeply you have touched me. 
By this, your decision to jettison all the opulence of class and marry the one you love. Don't worry. My husband and I will support you. Thank you. You're welcome. That's my parents for you. Oh, yeah. I told you they will understand. <laughs> so you can now go and bring the woman. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. You don't know what you have done for me. Thank you, ma. Look at them. The people that want to marry the prince. We wake up with no class. Prima, let me ask you. What makes you think the prince will want to make you his wife? The problem with you is jealousy. And jealousy? It's not good for you. If the prince will marry me, your jealousy cannot even stop it. And who is jealous of who? <laughs> the charm with which you blinded the palace that made the prince look at you in the first place has cleared. He is gone and gone forever. So just wake up from that your useless dream and go and carry your pan of kerosene and hit the streets right away. Who God has blessed, no man can curse. I believe you have heard that before. And who is that fool that believes that God has blessed her? You? <laughs> Please, go and hide. If the priest is coming for anyone in this family, that person should be me. Oh. Oh. Look at that. Is the prince calling me? If only your jealousy can stop this call. Hello, my friends. How are you today? I'm fine, dear. And you? I'm fine. Aside being here with my sister that mocks me all the time. Do not join words with anybody. I've just finalized the arrangement with the parents you're going to stay with, the couple. I'm coming to pick you tomorrow. Huh? You are coming to take me tomorrow? To, to where, my friends? To a place where I'm finally going to prove to my mother that although she's my mother, she's a child and I am the man. And the man is the father of the child. I, I don't know what that means. But. I shall be waiting for you tomorrow, my friend. All right. Stay blessed, my love. Did you just call me your love? I didn't just call you my love. You are the love of my life. I'll come for you tomorrow. Huh. Okay. I... I love you too. All right, dear. What did you just do? Obioma, did you just report me to the prince? Please. Leave me alone. You are not the only sister I have. Besides, I didn't even call you me. I have too many sisters that hate me. I have haters everywhere. You go. I'm trying to understand what's going on here. Mother, is this not the same Amaka who walked here as a maid? Why is she rotating herself in this palace before me? Since you have decided not to settle down with Linda, I remembered my own Amaka. Whom you once accepted in my presence and called an honorable woman. Amaka has associated so much with royalty that she is now royalty by association. So I want your son to begin to look at her as your wife to be.
why would you allow my mother to make a fool of you? How do you mean, my prince? This is me. The same Amaka that served you. You know I'm not a fool. I rejected the woman I found as a wife. My father has given me permission to go find another one. I'm working towards it. Why are you looking for another one? Why you have Amaka here? Amaka has already been groomed into a queen. That you have designed Amaka to look like a queen does not make her one. I am looking for a woman who exudes nobility from within, from inside. Not one who merely looks like one. Thank you, Your Majesty. I am thrilled with your compliment. <laughs> you know why we are here, Chief. Our son, the Prince, told us that he found a beautiful friend in your house. Ah. Your youngest daughter. And uh, he told us that she is good enough to be his wife. You can say that loud, my king. He brought in so many of them, but rejected them all. But once your name was mentioned as the father of the maiden, we became interested. Why, my friend? Because in royalty, class maintenance is something we are committed about. So say you, my queen. I am particularly not interested nor in the so-called class maintenance. <sighs> Who am I to argue with the king? Put all the blame on me and I will carry it with all my heart. The truth remains that so many were brought and we rejected them. But once your name was mentioned as the father of the maiden, we started to break all protocols to come and see her. <laughs> so please, can we have the honor to see our queen in the making? <clears throat> She is my last daughter. She just got back from Canada. My wife and I are still wondering how your son discovered her immediately. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> he had to expand his ten tackles to get someone that would be accepted by us. And now he has finally found. That's right. I don't blame you, my son. You did well. Thank you. <laughs> well, I am happy to hear that. If our AUJ survived the royal scrutiny mm -hmm. and there is qualified to be the wife of the prince, who am I? We are ready to give her hand in marriage. Good, 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 good. Hey, my dear. I'm so amazed. Come here, my dear. <laughs> Have this. You're welcome. 
Thank you, Your Majesty. <laughs> I will only give you one advice, my son. Do not let a maiden come between you and your mother. I will not allow her to impose a woman on you. But if she doesn't like the one you have found, find another. Your mother will do something remarkable the day you bring the one she loves. She will willingly hand her her staff of office. Walk towards that, my son. <laughs> now it has really dawned on me that my father is a prophet. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> Whatever that means. But this goes to show you that your mother is not as tough as you think. All I wanted was the best for you. And now that you have found the best, I've handed over my staff of office. Oh. <laughs> I humble myself before the Queen Mother. May your days be long and your reign forever. Oh, come on, save me those protocols. You are also a queen. And may your days be long too. Come on, get up from there, Cinder. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, my queen. Uh, yes, my dear. Can't I just have this little conversation with my daughter-in-law without interference? I know you love her so much. I do too. <laughs> Sorry, Mother. I did not mean to interfere. I only came to let you know she just came back from Canada and might not have answers to all the traditional questions you would throw her. And who told you I was about asking her any question? I called her for us to have a little interaction, woman to woman <coughs> talk. Cool. See that. You go ahead and have some woman to woman talk with my mother. Mm -hmm. The intimidating queen mother of Abadani. What? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Livia. <laughs> I don't know why he has that impression of you. I don't find you intimidating at all. That boy? Don't mind my son. He always have a way of using strong words on his mother, but he also have his own children. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> Very intelligent woman. I don't need to remind you that. But I don't like the idea of you leaving your wife with her. She may sentence that lady to a series of technical questions that will make her unmask the game. Sincerely to tell you at this point I'm not bothered about my mother. I have a man and I've made my choice. She has even blessed her by handing her a staff of office. So if she wants to mask the game, then so be it. You are talking like this because you are a prince. And you are a man. She's not. I feel she will have the thought of one day that your mother will get to find out who she really is. And how is that supposed to be a problem? How? Listen to me, Collins. I appreciate the fact that you've been with me through this game. I don't want you to bother yourself over this. I'm not bothering myself about this. I'm concerned about the lady who is at the middle of everything. She's of a humble background like myself. And I feel I owe it to her as a duty to watch her back always. I love to hear it come from you. That you want to protect my wife and watch her back. But sincerely, I value her protection more than anybody in this palace. I'm very surprised the way you handle house shows. Hmm? You're so humble, down to earth, unlike the other ones that. Came back from Canada, US, UK, every other part of the world. I was raised by my mother. Mm. And then I was in Nigeria for the better part of my secondary school. Ah, even at that, you are so humble by every sense of word. Despite the fact that you are from the upper class family, your father was already made before he gave birth to you. And you are still humble. Up to the level of learning how to cook, especially our local delicacy. Mm. 
something I must applaud in you. Thank you, Your Majesty. <laughs> now tell me something. Why did your father call you Enuche? Oh, Enuche. Mm -hmm. that, that is my name. Wow, you don't like it? No, no, no. I like it. But uh, with your father's level of exposure, I still wonder why he called you Enuche. According to him, a certain man back in London in a cafe asked him a mind-boggling question. Mm. He asked him, why is it that African men are so quick to give their children Western names, whereas no Western man will ever give an African name to his child? Mm. So resultantly, the reality of that question sank in so deep into him that he made a decision never to give any of his children a Western name. Wow. Yeah. And so when I was born, he gave me AUJ. And I like the name. Wow. Mm. I like it too. You do? Um, AUJ. <laughs> Which means it never crossed my mind. That name is very significant. Indeed. And I never knew that my son would come back home with such a beautiful angel like you. Oh, <laughs> Queen, please stop it. You blew my mind when you talk like that. Oh. Thank you. Thank you, Steele. I really appreciate it. Ah, does it mean that you must always oh. badge on me when I'm having a little interaction with my daughter-in-law? Why? I'm very sorry, boss. I apologize. The prince sent me to call your wife. The prince? Oh. The same prince I told that I want to have a little woman-to-woman -woman interaction with my daughter-in-law sent to you to come and pick her? Um, I'm sorry, boss. I beg to excuse my queen. Let me attend to him and I shall be right back. <laughs> it's okay, my angel. It's okay. I don't know why the king will send such an urgent message. Maybe the king has started misbehaving at the palace. Mm -mm. I lived with that girl in this house. Yes. And I can vouch for her 100%. She couldn't have changed into a monster overnight. My dear, I think I agree with you on that point. But I still cannot lay my hands on why the king should ask me to report to this palace with such urgency. Well, you're dressed to go already. Yeah. Good. I'll find out when you get there. Oh. Right. I'm beginning to miss that girl. Really? What kind of miss? Do you know what I'm missing? Someone misses someone. I mean, the prince, my friend, has actually opened my eyes. And right now, I'm on the lookout for a humble girl that will grow into a wife. Not all these materialistic chicks hovering around me. <laughs> Seriously. Well, fortunately, your father and I would not impose any girl on you. Bring the girl first and we'll judge her on face value. Hmm? Can I ever find a girl like that girl?
The message was rather urgent and thought-provoking. And I was wondering why my king wants to see me. And I thought you'd turn down the invitation, since my son has not done what he's supposed to do for you as an in-law. What could it be? Why should I turn down your invitation? Oh God, be I'm alone now. The age-long tradition of our people. Under normal circumstances, you are not supposed to be here when my son has not held a feast for you. I'm going to know where your daughter is married to. My invitation to you was to test you. That you're here means that you and my son are on the same page. You are equally not bothered. That is the truth, my king. Mm. Such things don't bother me. Mm. My daughter is already married to your son and they live happily like man and wife. A traveled man like me should align himself with international best practices. Hmm. I will not be among the ignorant population that will not visit their in-laws because a welcome feast has not been organized for them. <laughs> Unfortunately for you, Chief Ilodibe, your in-law here is the king of Agbadani Kingdom. A man committed to the sustenance of the culture and tradition of our people. We need to hold a banquet in your honor for you to invite all the people you wish to bring. That is Ogo Biamalono. That is the last phase in the phases of marriage. And a king like me will not play down on that. As it pleases you, my king. I will get back to you on this. Ilodibe, I will not discuss this any further. I assert that the feast must hold. And I concur with my king. The feast we hold, I will get back to you when we shall all gather here for the feast. I'll be waiting. I discussed with your father on the need for the feast. And he's so with me. You will get back to me on the date and uh, we'll get it done with immediately. My dear, this is life in the palace and that's my father for you. Always, always looking for an excuse to throw a party. You sound as if you don't like the idea of Ogo Biamalono. <laughs> Listen son, other families may play down on tradition. But you, who will emerge as king after me, should not follow in that uh, in that example. Oh, you're back already? Yes, Your Majesty. Though I didn't meet him at home, they said he took his son to school. I dropped a message that he must try and finally to see me tomorrow. Hmm. I have been wondering why you you need to see the cat kissed. Hmm. It's simple. Because I want my beautiful daughter-in-law here to be the president of the CWO. Simple. Why could you think of me like that? Someone who just got married and is happy? You want to make her president of CWO in Abadan of all places? Someone who is not up to set in manner? President over all those women I know. Come on, son. This is politics. Allow me to play it. I want my beautiful daughter-in-law here to be relevant among all women. Mm -hmm. Um, before I forget, I saw uh, Mr. Ilo Akasia of Enu. New village. Mm -hmm. That uh, the uncle to that miserable witch that my son wanted to bring in this family. Oh, Lord, 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 Lord. You don't say such. We have a wife here now. And there are things you shouldn't say. Uh, come on, don't underestimate the intelligence of this beautiful, elegant girl here. I know that she wouldn't mind. Oh, do you? No, no, but not at all. I, I, I don't mind. It doesn't bother me who it is, the prince in you know, his past. I, I'm married to him now. Besides, intelligent people don't judge people based on their past. Mm. Perfect! Did you hear that, Your Majesty? He's an intelligent, elegant, beautiful queen. I saved my son from marrying 
that low class wretched witch. I can imagine a girl that hawks kerosene everywhere that my son brought here to see the king. I stopped him from seeing that miserable low class girl. At least you should tell me. Law, law. Your Majesty. But that poor kerosene seller could have been an angel. You never know. Huche, don't ever say a thing like that. You cannot judge what can never be judged. If she wants to be an angel, let her be an angel somewhere else, not in this palace. No, a low class girl. No, no, no. Enough. And every day all I do is continually pray for more grace to endure through the extreme decisions she keeps making. Exactly, my love. Grace. Pray for more grace to endure her because it's not just my mother is impossible. I mean, were you not the same girl she called classless, low life and all of that? And here we are today. She likes you to high heavens and even wants to make you the president of CWO. What does that tell you? It simply means she's not that intelligent. Come to think of it. How in the world did she concoct the idea of having me as the CWO president? I mean, how is that even possible? Maybe she's just trying to prove to you she loves you. Loves me? <laughs> no, 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 she does not love me. She loves Eyuchi, daughter of Chief Indodibe. Eyuchi is nothing but a mirage, and I wonder what her reaction will be when she finds out that all of this is a mirage, that AUJ is a mirage. Maybe by then she would have made you the president of CWO. Please don't even say that. Because you know that there is no way the women of Awada will make me the CWO president. It's not possible. I can't even pass on it. <laughs> you know, from your language, I can decipher you don't know the kind of mother-in-law you have. For her to even think about it. For her to go all the way to meet the cat kissed. I can only tell you to get ready and get prepared. Because my mother will go all out to give you that office. Oh. If that happens, there will be nothing short of magic. And I cannot wait to see how that will play out. You talk as though you love it. Well, I don't. But right now, I don't even know what I love or do not love. Take them. <laughs> I know you might call them ancient or outdated, but trust me, these are the most valuable assets I've kept for a long time. It was given to me by my mother the very day I went to tell her that I was getting married. <laughs> wow. <sighs> they don't look ancient or outdated to me. They're beautiful. Oh. You like them? Mm -hmm. That's why I went to bring them from the safe where I kept them all this while. Take them. They're all yours now. Mine? Mm -hmm. you, you want me to have them? <laughs> hey, Nuche. You haven't seen anything yet. You see, you made my husband and my son trust me more. Mm -hmm. If not because I resisted my son's choice of spouse, he would have gone to marry that witch into this house. But my resistance um, helped him expand this search. And I'm so happy he found you. <laughs> mm, I'm so happy you're here. Thank you. But I'll have you know that I will forever remember this day <laughs> as a day you deemed me fit. You counted me worthy to, to benefit from a gift so precious given to you by your mother. Thank you. Come here. <laughs> you are the most beautiful thing that happened to this palace. 
and I promise to give you all the love you require from a mother-in-law. <laughs> I'm happy you're here. <clears throat> I humble myself before your majesty, the queen mother of the kingdom. We shall live long, your majesty. And the new queen loved by everyone. Yes, yes. <laughs> God. We shall live long also. Thank you. A man who identified himself as Katkist is here to see your majesty. Oh. What should I tell him? Make him comfortable wherever he is. Tell him journey himself, okay? Okay, your majesty. And your queen. Greetings. A gift from your grandmother to your mother. And now from your mother to me. I love it very much. I love it. Best gift I ever got. Impressive. I've never seen this before. Well, she did say that she brought it out from the safe where she had hidden it for years. Look at this. I don't even know what to do with it yet, but I love it so much. Wow. Ain't you lucky to have a mother who cherishes you so much? Me. Are you jealous? Huh? Are you? <laughs> By the way, cut here. Where? Here, in the palace. Um, somewhere discussing with your mother. <laughs> Get ready. What? Get ready to be the president of the seed of you. I know my mother. Whatever she starts, she concludes. I know. She just said the cat kisses here. Get ready for the office. What's your <laughs> My dear cat kiss, you have to cut down on semantics and realize that you're talking to a woman who has seen it all. You see, there's politics in everything we do in life, even in the church. And this is politics, and I want to play it. I want her to emerge as the president in the forthcoming election. That decision is not within my powers, Your Majesty. The CWO just overcame a major crisis that almost grounded them in our parish. The worst thing we can think of now is to double into their politics, especially at this moment of recovery. Who are those I should call to set the ball rolling? I need to start calling them this night. It appears to me that you are really serious with this quest of making that young lady the president of CWO. This is someone who has not even given birth to a child. I know the constitution of the CWO. And it was never stated that a woman must have a child before she emerges as a president. Rather, it states that a woman must be popular among other women. And that is the process I must start now. How much? Do you really think this is all about money? I don't think. I know. Everything in life is all about money. How much will it cost? I finally got word from Chief Ilodibe. He'll be coming tomorrow for the Ogobiam Alono. So give the necessary instructions to the cooks and other palace workers. I want the event to be a memorable one. Must it be tomorrow? Can't you shift it forward a little bit? Why would you want the event postponed? I want to make her the president of the CWO. And August meeting is next month. I would like her to be the president before the Ogobia Maru. Listen, woman. I do not care the politics you play with your daughter-in-law in the Women's Assembly. But please, do not interfere with my decisions as king. The banquet holds tomorrow. Give the necessary instructions. Uh, are you expecting other visitors? Or is it only our chief? Uh, I don't even think um, 
Chief Hilo Dikribe is coming with her people. Just prepare for about 20 people and uh, whatever happens tomorrow, we'll handle it. Yes, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, it's rather too urgent, but I will see what I can do about it. For me to have called you here, for you to understand how important this is to me, and how urgent I need it. This party is going to hold here tomorrow by 4 p.m., and I want something beautiful and elegant by 2 p.m. Mm -hmm. I've ever disappointed you before. I'm not, I will not start now. I'm sorry for the way I sounded, but I want something elegant by 2 p.m. tomorrow. It's okay. I won't disappoint you. Well, Your Majesty, I have to take my leave now. We have a lot to do. Of course, we're not going to sleep this night because of the job. That's why I called perfect touch. Get me something elegant by 2 p.m. tomorrow. I promise. All right. Good night, Ma. Collins, what's the matter with you? Why do you want to spoil this party? Why bring in people that are not supposed to be here? Um, calm down, Your Majesty. He is Ichi Obierika. I invited him for he has a vital role to play in this party. Yeah. This is true. Why do I have the feeling that there's something you're not telling me? This wonderful banquet organized by the king in his wisdom has provided me the opportunity to make an important confession that will help to put things straight. The prince had a dream and needed people that will help him actualize the dream. Ichi Ebebe Erika here did excellently well and I must commend him any time, any day. What is your father up to? Your Majesty, the prince once brought a maiden that he wanted to marry for introduction. Before the king could see her, you already chased her away from the palace. Why do you bring such topic here? Can't you see the environment and the atmosphere? <laughs> My daughter stand. Your Majesty, standing before us here, adorned in the same attire as you, my daughter, Eyuche, who is already married to the prince according to the traditional laws of Abadan Kingdom, is one and the same Ubioma that you chased away from the palace. I beg your pardon. Explain of that. What did you just say? Mm -hmm. 
video. Do you hate me this much? Hate? What do you mean by that, mother? So, if I was dead already, and you were left with the responsibility of bringing in someone that could replace me. So, so this thing is what you could have brought for them to give my staff of office. Mother, just stop this endless recourse to physical attributes. Look beyond the physical. Looks can be deceptive, you know. I am going to close my eyes. And by the time I open them, you must have developed wings and fly away like the witch that you are. And never you again step foot in this palace. Get out! Oh, oh, yeah, what did you just say? Your Majesty, I'm happy that we have a king that believes in equality of all before the law. The king gave her a chance, but you never did. They approached me to play the role of a dad, just to get what you call surname. I played that role because I saw real love in them. Class difference is unknown to love. Because in reality, class maintenance is something we are committed to. So say you, my queen. I particularly am not committed to the so-called class maintenance. Who am I to argue with the king? Put all the blame on me and I will carry it with all my heart. The truth remains that so many were brought and we rejected them. But once your name was mentioned as the father of the maiden, Many families, as they tried to conquer love, they conquered themselves and went into the bondage of love. I want to stop my speech here by telling all of us that love is a conqueror. What rubbish. This is not happening. Oh, this witch. This witch made me look like a fool. I will kill her. I will squeeze her with my own hands.
Oh, 